What's up everyone? Ethan the Super Mario fan here and today I'm going to be testing out my Wani Portable DVD player version 3. Yeah, it's been a long time since I did a testing video with the Wani Portable DVD player. So now I'm actually back doing testing videos. Sorry if I didn't upload any testing videos lately. But now I'm back, actually back doing these type of videos. So anyways, here are the five DVDs we'll be testing out. SpongeBob SquarePants Absorbing Favorites, because this is especially for Blake the SpongeBob fan. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, or should I say Sonic the Hedgehog Da? The Princess Bride, which is a, kind of a new DVD, because this is actually... This, my mom actually bought this DVD like a long time ago. Home. And the Super Mario Bros. movie, which is especially for me because I love Super Mario. So first we're going to be testing out the SpongeBob... I meant SpongeBob SquarePants Absorbing Favorites. I almost said the SpongeBob movie collection, which has the Nickelodeon Fish logo. So anyways, here's the Nickelodeon Fish logo, but on the Wani Portable DVD player. Sorry if I talk it like this, because I have a stuffy nose, because I'm kind of sick. Okay, that was the Nickelodeon Fish logo, but on the Wani Portable DVD player. So now next DVD is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Or should I say Sonic the Hedgehog? Duh! <laughs> DVD collection in a nutshell reference. And the reason why I picked this DVD because Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is coming out this year. And yes, it does have the Paramount Pictures 2011-2012 logo. There's the insert, which I'm not taking it out. And I don't know why the disc is boring gray, but who cares? So anyways, here's the... Paramount DVD... No, I always said Paramount DVD logo. Why do I keep saying that? I keep making mistakes. So anyways, here's the Paramount Pictures 2011 slash 2012 logo, but on my Wani portable DVD player. I might have to turn it down because I don't want to get copyrighted. Alright, that was the Paramount Pictures 2012 logo, but on my Wani portable DVD player. Next DVD is The Princess Bride, which has the 1998 MGM DVD logo. This is like the first time I'm actually showing it on my channel. And this is like the only MGM DVD I have as of right now. I really hope to get some more soon. And yes, this is the 20th Century Fox reprint. I know there's a Warner Brothers reprint, but this is the 20th Century Fox reprint. So anyways, here's the 1998 MGM DVD logo, but on my Wadi Portable DVD player. I'm going to turn up the volume again. Alright, that was the 1998 MGM DVD logo, but on my Wani Portable DVD player. So now next DVD is Home, which has the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo, even though this is the Universal reprint. I don't know why the case is white and the disc is pink, but who cares? So anyways, here's the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo, but on my Wani Portable DVD player. Sorry, if you're sorry again if I had a stuffy nose, but that's okay. I hope I get better soon. In about the next couple of weeks. I have to turn up the volume because it's kind of low. Alright. 
That was the 20th Century Fox Hover Table logo, but on my Wani portable DVD player. Last but not least is the Super Mario Bros. movie, which is the Power Up Edition, does have the Universal 2012 logo. I don't know why the disc is red, but who cares? So anyways, here's the Universal 2012 logo, but on my Wani portable DVD player. I might have to turn the volume down a bit due to copyright reasons. I turn up a bit more. Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video of testing out my DVDs on the Wani Portable DVD Player version 3. So anyways, if you have enjoyed this testing video, make sure to like the video, comment, share my videos, subscribe if you're new, and click the notification bell icon so you'll get notified when I post more great content in the near future. So until then, peace out.